Hey, what's up guys, Bodhi here and welcome to the video. So today's video is gonna be about building a website with Bluehost as your hosting. So I used to find this confusing to be able to build a website and I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. Um, I've built a couple of websites now and I like using Bluehost and Web, uh, WordPress. So I just thought I'd make a tutorial as I build another website and just guide you guys through it. So here we are on bluehost.com and the first thing we're gonna do is just go get started. So I have a link which I'll drop down below here which will get you a discount for uh, Bluehost. So that will be very handy for you. Let's just go to the basic plan. This is all most of you people are gonna need. Uh, most of you guys are gonna need. So if you have a domain of your own, you would go there, but we're just gonna go create new dom domain and I'm just gonna wait, make one about my, it's gonna be my personal one, so. It's just gonna be my name.com and let's hope that's available. Oh no, I just spelt that wrong. Hang on a second. I've put a second V in my own name. So we'll just go back. And we'll go again. So my name is available, which is good. So that'll be That'll come up green if, it, if it's available, obviously. So then we're just gonna put in our details here. One of the things that I want to go to down here, um, at the moment there's a 36 month price for $6 a month, which is really good. So that's pretty cool. One of the things that I would do is untick these by deselecting, you're making your contact information for the public online, which makes you more vulnerable. So you can either keep these on or turn them off. Um, get rid of that one, get rid of that one. And this one, $1.52. Yeah, it's up to you guys whether you want to do that or not. So then all you're gonna do is come down and put in your card details and then you will just acknowledge down here and click submit. So I'll just pause the video as I fill in all these details but uh, I'll see you guys shortly. All right guys, so you just would have clicked through from that next screen, then you're just gonna create a password. So you're just gonna have to come up with that. Make sure you write it down somewhere so you don't lose it. Um, then you're just gonna tick this and go create account. Your account is ready to go. Now you can log in, so go to login. Then it's just gonna come up with scan, so just password again. And go log in. Not now. All right, so now it's loading up. And it's really, it's really quite simple to sign up to. It's not, it always seems like it's gonna be hard, but it's actually not that hard these days, it's quite easy. What kind of site are you creating? So mine's gonna be pretty much, I would say, what would I say? Business or professional? Because I'm gonna have a lot of, a lot of articles and stuff on here. Maybe, I'm not really gonna sell products. I would say, maybe professional. What type is it? Uh, education. Who are you creating this site for? Myself. And then we're just gonna go continue. And you can go through all this stuff. I'm just gonna go skip this step and go to um, theme selection. So when you come into here, it's gonna give you a lot of different themes. We're just gonna go skip this step for now though. So now the website is loading up and in a second we'll be able to select a theme and it'll bring us to our dashboard. And this is probably what you've seen before and we're wondering how you get to this part.
so here we go we're in and now we can look at everything so we can go launch my site we go web wordpress um and then you can start playing around with all the different things so you've got your site here you've got the marketplace here and you got a few other things so all we're going to do is Go to WordPress. And then this is your dashboard. So from the dashboard here, you're gonna go down to appearance and you're gonna go themes. And then it's obviously gonna give you a lot of tips on how to do all this. So it's going to give you a couple here and you're just going to go add new theme. And then it's going to bring up all of the themes. So this is really what your website's going to look like. So then from here, you just go through and select one. Um, you can obviously buy themes, search out different ones, uh, go popular. Like this is one that's been up for ages. This is one I've used before. So you would just go through, maybe if you're building a website and you look, like the look of a different one, go and check out that website and see what sort of theme it's using and then uh, see if you can build one similar. So I'll pretty much leave this video here, but um, I can do another video which will be more showing you guys how to customize the website as I do that. But I just wanted to go through how to actually sign up for a website using Bluehost and uh, WordPress in 2020. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please give the video a like. Any questions, drop them down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button.